Ooh, I got some sticky outers. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Friday morning beer review. I've got one this morning that I'm just going to have to use my own description of because I can't find anything about this one on the internet. We try to do a little bit of research ahead of time before we do these just so we kind of know a little bit about it and then form our own opinion before getting too deep into the beers. But this being a quick review, we don't get too deep anyway. I've got uh, Odd Side Ales Ocular Pat Down Vanilla Coffee Porter this morning. This is a porter brewed with vanilla and coffee coffee. That's all the information there is out there on it. It's a 6% ABV 35 IBU beer. Let's just crack it open and see what it tastes like. All right, Mr. Porter, here we go. I poured it into my Luigi Biormoli stout glass. Nice and dark, nice thick head, probably two and a half, three inch head on it there. Dang it, I did it again. I got it on my nose. Gotta be a little more careful. Well, it's vanilla E. I don't smell a whole lot of coffee out of the head on my nose. Maybe just a hint of coffee. It's definitely way more vanilla than it is coffee. We'll set it down just for a second. The bottle, brown long neck, has some dude with a five o'clock shadow with sunglasses. It says down below, the ocular pat down. I cleared him for passage. I don't know what that means because there's just no other information. As I said, it's an ale with coffee and vanilla added. Brewed by uh, Oddside Ales. Rand Haven, Michigan. Oddside Ales got their start back in 2010. They've continually grown. They've actually outgrown two facilities and are on their third in Grand Haven, Michigan. They are currently located at the Story and Clark Piano Factory. At their brewery and tap room, they've got 27 taps. They've got some food. I actually would love to go over there. They have, it's a 44,000 square foot building, currently housing a 15 barrel brew house with a capacity of over 560 barrels and counting, they say. So they distribute to Wisconsin, Illinois, and Ohio. So I'm really glad we can get this beer here. The head has dissipated on this one just enough. I think I can get a taste in. In, swirl it just a little bit. The bubbles are a little bit bigger than I think I typically see on a stout porter style beer. A little bit of lacing. Falls down fairly quickly. This is a super clean glass. I just rinsed it with hot, hot water. Let's see. What does this odd side taste like? <laughs> Oddly enough, that might be one of the best porters I've ever had. Did you get what I did there? Oddly? Odd sides? Yeah, I don't think I had to explain that. Very vanilla. Some coffee on the finish. It's vanilla from the start all the way to the finish. And then when it finishes, washes off my mouth, it leaves a lingering coffee flavor in my mouth. It's got a very nice mouthfeel to it. It's got some a little more carbonation than some other porters that I've had. But I kind of like that. It's probably about 50 degrees serving temperature, which is just a 50 to 55. Some say 55 to 60 for stouts and porters. I like pouring it just a little bit cooler so it can give us some time to warm up. This is really good. I mean, I love vanilla. It's one of my favorite flavors. Adam and I talk about that frequently when we're doing dark beer reviews on Stouts and Porters that vanilla is probably the favorite flavor among both of us. And this one has got it. It's fantastic, actually. <laughs> Man, I'm picking some good beers for Friday morning beer reviews lately. Wow. That's just got such a good balanced flavor to it from vanilla sweetness to the bitterness of coffee at the end. Porters are technically stouts. They do have a different flavor. For the ones that I've had, porters are chocolatey and earthy. Stouts can be all over the place with their oatmeal and imperial chocolatey stuff that they're a lot of times brewed with. This is almost to me like a cross. It's hard to explain. Okay, so porters and stouts are very, very similar. I always hear that porters are essentially essentially a stout. They're just brewed with different different malts. So I looked this up just so I have this correct. The main difference that many brewers still agree on is the kind of malt that should be used to brew each type of beer. Porters use malted barley and stouts are primarily made from unmalted roasted barley, which is where the coffee flavor most people associate with stouts come from. I don't have any idea what the grain bill is on this one. That's not on their website. It's not anywhere that I can find. So this being a coffee porter is why it tastes more like a stout than a really earthy porter. 
quarter. I mean, this is freaking delicious. I should, I haven't given this a rating yet. I'm going to come out of the gate strong with this one and go, uh, it's really good. Probably one of the best porters I've had. I'm going to go 4.5 on this. So to see where this finishes, go to Untapped and check out uh, my final rating on it. I mean, I'm Chadillac907 on Untapped. Send me a friend request. I love drinking with uh, as many people as I possibly can on Untapped, and I love to see what everybody else is drinking. So untapped, the rest of the world on this beer, 619 check-ins, 593 unique. Fairly rare, I guess, because it's not checked in much. It was only added, though, back in November of 17. So out of those check-ins, 3.74 is the rating on Untapped. I like it way better than that. And on Beer Advocate, 9 ratings, 3.8 out of 5. I'm higher on both, which seems to happen for me with porters and stouts. I just love them. They get higher ratings than I guess you would typically see. Or I give higher ratings on these than what the rest of the check-in world typically does. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was quick. Very dark in color. Very, very little lacing. And actually, none at all. Kind of just falls down. But either way, it's delicious. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Great job, Oddside Ales. The Ocular Pat Down Vanilla Coffee Porter. Delicious, delicious beer. If you enjoyed this Friday morning beer review, check out the regular podcast as well as all of our other quick reviews that Adam and I both do at uh, beardedhops.com. All the social media, everything is at beardedhops.com. Find us. We love you. And I'll see you next time. I shouldn't say that because that's, that's, Matt says that from Demolition Ranch. And I just totally stole his line. Hmm. I wonder if Matt watches this. Go check out Demo Ranch, Demolition Ranch. It's a fun channel. I need to groom.